to like this hello guys good morning afternoon or evening and how are you all doing today i want to believe you guys are doing great that's all right i am messy at all from maryland prayer garments house abuja nigeria and welcome to my channel if you are new here you are highly welcome and thank you for choosing to stop by if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so because it's going to enhance your skills in sewing and to our returning diy farm thank you for making this channel a success today's tutorial will be on practical way of taking body measurement for perfect fit at this point let me pause to say that if you have not watched my video on rules involved in taking perfect body measurement please do so because it's going to help you to understand what i will be doing here today as i will be implementing those rules i talked about in that video let's go ahead in taking body measurements there are two sides to it we have the vertical and the horizontal measurement the vertical measurement is all about your straight measurement that is from your shoulder down to the desired length of your outfit while the horizontal measurement is all about your round body measurement like your boss round and so on at this point i will be observing those rules i talked about in that video i won't be explaining them i will only observe them so that is why it will pay you better if you go and watch that video so let's get started as you can see here my mannequin is putting on a well-fitted outfit which is one of the rules involved when taking perfect body measurement and as you can see also she's putting on a bra here she's also standing um, straight you can see she is standing upright and i know she is also breathing well <laughs> don't mind me she's not a human being <laughs> it's just a mannequin i just wanted to let you know that breathing also is one of the rules involved in taking body measurement you can also see my measuring tape here the very one used for tailoring so you can see it also here this also is one of the rules involved in taking perfect body measurement here is my measuring handbook chart to record all my measurement down here so you can see it we are going to start with the vertical body measurement which is from our shoulder down to our desired length so let's go ahead from shoulder point down to your bust point shoulder point to your nipple is called the bust point and then from the shoulder to the end of your bust is called on the bust length from my shoulder to my half length two to three inches above my belly button is going to be my half length measurement and then to my full blast length measurement the full blast length measurement varies because we are not all equal we have some that are taller some that are of average height and some that are also short so it varies the blouse length will not be equal but the average is 24 inches and then we go over to our knee length 
Our knee length measurement is from the shoulder to the knee, your knee um, point there. From your shoulder to your knee. And then we go over to our down to the floor. It's called the floor length measurement. So if you want it to touch the floor, it's called the floor length measurement. Also, about vertical body measurement, we have the back side. So we are going to go to the back side of the vertical body measurement. So let me turn over my mannequin so you will get to see what we are doing. So assuming this is your client and she has um, this kind of hairstyle, what you will simply do is just take it to the front so that the hair here will not influence your measurement in the wrong direction. So you take it like so. So this back measurement also is very important because this is going to help you a great deal when constructing any fitted outfits like what I'm wearing today. Can you see my back is really lying very flat and my hip is sitting appropriately where it is supposed to be. So you can see my nice outfit and it, it fits so well at the back side and my hip is sitting where it is supposed to be. So that is what this back measurement is going to be doing for you. So pay close attention to what you will be doing at this other side of the measurement. So look at me closely. I'm not placing my tape this way. This is going to be a wrong way of measuring your back measurement or taking your back measurement. So you place your finger at your shoulder space and then you bring the tape over to the middle or the center of your back where you have your spinal here. So at the middle, you can see it's lying very flat and I'm going to be taking my measurement from my shoulder down to the end of my hip. Here I have 17 and I'm going to be releasing my hand up here just so to get a good measurement here to place it here and then to take my so it's okay even if the tape fall off don't mind you just make sure you place it very well like so so i have 17 i'm going to release my hand up here it doesn't matter even if it fall or falls off so it's still okay and then from here i will take the full part of my hip, which is from my shoulder down to my hip, I have um, 24. And then from my shoulder down to the end of my hip, I have 29. The reason for this back measurement is so that you will know exactly where your hip is going to sit. This back measurement from your shoulder to your waist, and then from your shoulder to the full part of your hip, from your shoulder to the end of your hip. This is like a guide to help you locate where your hip is going to stay when you're done with your outfit. You know, sometimes you see some hip, some outfit puffing somewhere here. It's because the back measurement wasn't properly taken. But if you follow this pattern, you're going to see that your outfit will come out looking beautiful because the hip is going to sit where it ought to be. Just like the example I showed you on what I am putting on. There's nothing puffing here and there's, there's nothing puffing anywhere around here other than my hip was where it was supposed to be. So this is basically what the back measurement is going to give to you. Just the way you see this shape like this, that is how it's going to come out looking beautiful when you're done with your garment. So that is basically for the back 
vertical measurement. We are going to go over to our horizontal body measurement, which is our round body measurement, like the bust round and so on. Here is my bust round measurement. I have 34.5 here. My bust round measurement, so bust round measurement is taken around the full part of your bust. That is where your bust round measurement is taken. Then we have, on the bust round measurement is taken at the end of your bust. And you see that I'm not pressing my tape too tightly. This also is one of the rules in taking perfect body measurement. So you can see here that I'm not pressing my tape too tightly, but there's a space somehow just for my finger, just my one finger here. Good. So can you see that? This is my round, on the bus round measurement. It's taken directly at the end of your bus. And then we go over to our waist round measurement. Our waist round measurement here is 36. Before we continue, let me say that some people call here waist round. This is not waist round. By the time you're doing a bus tear or the princess that this is going to confuse you because there are two different measurements here and here. So here is called on the bust round and not waist round. This is where your waist round is taken. So this is your waist round measurement. And I have 26 inches here. And we are going over to our hip measurement. So your hip round measurement is taken around the full part of your hip. You take it around the full part of your hip. So you can see like so, just like what I'm doing here, around your hip and then you adjust it, make sure it's tight. Moderately tight in a way that your clients will feel comfortable uh, wearing them once their outfits are ready for use. Not too tight, so it won't it won't affect them badly. Like we know that when an outfit is extremely tight, it can affect badly on the body, thereby causing health-related issues, like backache, and abdominal pain. So you can see what I'm doing here, but moderately tight, so your clients can be comfortable wearing their outfits. And so we have here our the full part of our hip. And so we go to our ample measurement. Our ample measurement. So this is our ample measurement, and we have also our round sleep measurement, and then our shoulder measurement also. So this is how to, back to our ample measurement, so this is how you take your ample measurement, watch closely, so you take it over like, like this, not like this, take it around your ample, not like this, but to your ample uh, measure, ample space here. And then we are going over to our shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement. Our shoulder measurement is taken from one point of the shoulder to another point of your shoulder. That is how to take your shoulder measurements. Let me turn it over so you will see what I'm doing here. So you turn it over. If there is hair, make sure you shift the hair away from 
your shoulder, so it will affect your measurement wrongly. So you can see from one side of your shoulder, like so, to the other side of your shoulder, like this. Now to our round neck measurement. So this is how to take your round neck measurement for your Chinese collar or turtle neck collar. This is not applicable to all uh, tops that you're making. So it depends on the kind of style you are sewing at the moment. Like if you're making a turtle neck um, top or a Chinese collar top or gown, this is necessary. So you take your round neck measurement. Can you see what I'm doing here? I hope this is very clear to you. So this will help you if you want to fix the collar around. So this is your neck round measurement. And then there's one thing we are also we are supposed to do before we round up with our um, body measurement. Our bust pan measurement. So this bust pan measurement will help you to know where you're supposed to take your dad's measurement when constructing an outfit, a top or a gown that will need that on it. So this will help you, this measurement here will help you to do so. It is called bust fan measurement or bust apart measurement or nipple to nipple measurement. Whichever one you choose to call it, just know that this is to help you know where to fix or how to take your dad's measurement when you are constructing a top or a gown that would be needing a dad. So, we have come to the end of this exercise. If this video is helpful to you, Please like and also subscribe to my channel because here you will be learning um, all that you need to know that will enhance your skills in sewing. Thank you for watching. Till I come your way next time. Bye.